All right, now we have Undertale Neutral Ending by Nandi. Let's give it up for that. Uh, just do E L. Yeah. Michael, Michelle, Michelle. Well, then make it Barney. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. It's me Hi. again. I'm it's back. Again. <laughs> <laughs> and it's me again, and not sick this time. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do some Undertale, baby. Not sick percent. <laughs> We're gonna get sick again. Hell yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm Nandy. I'm with Crew. I'm with Knipje, I'm with Clover, and I'm with Linkemeister. And with and them. And with them. And today we're going to do some neutral ending. And I'm actually really excited. Oh. <laughs> it's in the way. It was blocking my <laughs> face. <laughs> so I know I, the feeling. I'm going to do something real quick before we start. I'm going to reset my keys per second counter because we're going to see how many buttons I've pressed after this run. Oh yeah, do no. donate a euro for every every button pressed. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Here's my That's phone. Evil. Can you call my insurance? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh but the uh, timer starts when I press yes. So can I get a countdown? Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one, go. go. So this is Michael. <laughs> Shout out to hotel guy. <laughs> hotel guy. <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't fit. Yeah, Undertale. This is Flowey. Flowey, uh, Flowey's this evil boy. Oh, well, he he seems to be nice. We've dropped. Yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, we we we've dropped yeah. into the underground, and he's showing us how things work here in the yeah. underground. So we're gonna get these friendly pellets now, and oh. Oh oh oh! What? Oh no! <laughs> what? I've got the right game. He's he's evil. Oh no! What a surprise! So this game is all about killing or be killed. According to Flowey, at least. According to Flowey, and now we're going to die. So no. Oh. Actually, no. when you hold up da uh, left down uh, down left here, you save two frames. So yeah, here we get Toriel. She's uh, she's Goat Mama. She's saving us, and she's gonna show us how the underground actually works. So she so we're gonna go through uh, through the ruins. She's gonna solve all of these puzzles for us. Makes it pretty easy for us. So I should already start explaining how the tax box uh, mashing works. Oh, so. We ta we skip a lot of text boxes and we do that by mashing Z X Enter and Shift. This dummy by dummy. And do that really, really. And really you do that quick. in like a rotating pattern because, uh, yeah, that's fast. And that's also a reason why we are playing on a, a down patched version because we're currently playing on version 1.0.1 Linux. Because uh, Windows locks uh, locks the meshing. Because in Windows you can only use Z and X, and in this one we can use all of, all four of them. So I'm gonna show off some swag. So we, yeah. can, we can dance with Frisk. So basically, how it works is with every enemy that we can uh, that we end up seeing, we can either uh, fight them, we can uh, befriend them in a way which allows us a free run, and we get the money. Or we can just flee away from them. Uh, I think in this run we mostly end up just fleeing. Yeah. Fleeing I... and sparing certain enemies in the ruins. But we're actually going to kill one enemy. And that's the Falcon. And you're going to see that in Hotland. Also, RNG manipulation. When we hold down uh, when we hold down, down here, you don't get an encounter. So, coming up next is sort of an RNG section. Because oh, no counters are scripted here. Also, we're taking the cinnamon button. Of course. That's the first encounter. And it was a more... A, we could have spared one. There are two enemies in the ruins that we can spare. It's all the... What was it called? Wind's God, I think it's called. Or oh, that's a Pokemon. Winston? That's a Pokemon. Well, that guy... Well, yeah, the little fly guy from just now. little fly guy and a Morse Ball. Also, I can technically soft lock the game here. So let's see what my RNG gives me. I almost saw Flux there. <laughs> well, that, that's what we call Taz Rock Skip. And it's really precise. Yeah, try not soft locking. Yeah. That's, uh. Oh, this is like an adorable little ghost. We're gonna. Nuts, we're, nuts, we're, right. He's depressed. Yeah, he's <laughs> depressed. So but we're gonna cheer him on. He does make some great music, though. So we're gonna cheer this guy four times until he shows us his magic trick. And if we press any other task or act. We have to do it nine more times. So he's showing us the dabber block. <laughs> That's a euro for the dab jar. <laughs> oh no. 
Sorry, I had to do it. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that's the entire fight. That's the thing with all of these bosses. We end up pr sparing mo pretty much all of them. Which running we do. Now, back in... Uh, back, the, the reason we actually go for a pacifist sort of run is because we want to get a punch card later on. Uh, before punch card skip was discovered, we actually used to do a near genocide run. So we used to kill every single enemy here uh, because it skips a bunch of cutscenes later on. But with the punch card, uh, we can actually skip all of those cutscenes, and that makes going for a, a mostly pacifist run significantly faster. And, uh, and I got them with counters. That's perfect. <laughs> so now we're going to see Goat Mom again. Yeah, she was actually about to call us to come pick us up, but uh, we're already here. So we're going home. Or home. Yeah. She wasn't expecting Fritz to be a speedrunner. Also, just guys, look at the way I'm mashing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. The mashing in this game is, is something else. Like, my keyboard is really small, so I have to do some weird techniques I made myself. Okay, let me see. Interesting. We're going out of the ruins. <laughs> so we're just... Keep, she's telling us about how snails work and stuff, and we just want to get out of the ruins. Yeah, so... Uh, Goat Mama here, she actually doesn't want to, us to leave the ruins because it's it's very dangerous. And every every kid that's fallen down that went out of the ruins has died. So uh, she actually tries to block our path. We can just make a living here, essentially. But uh, that, that, that'd that be slow. So we're now going to have to fight Goat Mama. First hands. Yeah, so actually you want to you wanna see as many hands as possible here because as soon as you get hit, the uh, animation for it ends. I think you need six hands. Six hands and a skip to be exact. Yeah. Uh, because Goat Mama will never actually kill you. Like, once you get too low on health, she'll just do an attack that goes around you. Or when the fight takes too long. She just she cannot kill you. Three hands. Oh, oh, yeah. That's the, We're just going to count that as the skip. Give me more hands. Oh. So what we do here is we just hold up left here. Because you always get to the perfect corner. Okay, give me a hand. Perfect. And one more. Let's go. That's a good fight. So yeah, this is that attack. Like, you can chase after it, All but right, it's not going to do anything here. So now she just starts... In she, she goes into tears because she really doesn't want us to leave. Yeah, she's begging us to stay around and we're, we're just, we just keep sparing her. Fun fact, when we now fight her, you instant kill her. Because she shows mercy for you. Also, I hope you like keyboard mashing ASMR because you're gonna hear that a lot. <laughs> so now she's gonna free us. So we're gonna get a, a hug from Goat Mama, and now uh, now we get to move out of the ruins. would have been possible I would have really loved to have hand cam during this run because Undertale speedruns are really tactical especially the glitched category so we get a pretty lengthy hallway here and then at the end of the hallway we'll find Flowey again he's gonna Spoilers. just <laughs> I mean, it was it was gonna Spoiler. happen in like three seconds <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna taunt us some more Actually, Flowey is the only character in the Undertale universe who has a, has a legit voice line. Because in, in Genocide, he just yells at you that it's a wonderful idea to kill everyone. So, Undertale. My Toby Fox. Yeah, so now we actually get started with, uh, with the, the second sequence of the game where mostly we're going to have to solve a, a bunch of really, really difficult puzzles. Yeah, they're actually so Made insane. Made by devilish creatures. So coming up next, we're going to meet our new character. And this is like everybody's <laughs> favorite guy. I'm not going to spoil oh. anything. It's, uh, it's very creepy here in the forest. You can definitely tell the difference between this and the ruins. Oh, this guy's following us. Oh my. He's actually following us. Oh God. And now we get stopped. This is the bridge. I mean, you, you can't go through that clearly. No. We have to wait for this guy to catch up. For this thing. So now we have to give him a hand. No, 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 no. 
And then he has a whoopee cushion in his hand. <laughs> ah, he pranked us. The classic Where? whoopee cushion in the hand <laughs> prank. I'm sad that I always laugh at that. So I'm going to focus for here because this is like insane text box meshing. Yeah, so Sans is, uh, is going to make us hide behind this conveniently shaped lamp. But um, <laughs> Ah, you're so funny. Also, also ah, he loves you're puns. so funny. Lucky, <laughs> Lucky all Undertale characters are really fast speakers. Exactly. <laughs> so here we're going to pick up the Tough Glove, which is just an upgrade for our weapon. And it, additionally, it'll give us a stick, which we can use to skip a bunch of fights later on. So what we're going to see in fights right now is a lot of dogs. And dogs like sticks, right? So my plan is to uh, throw sticks at every dog. And there are like three of them that we can't skip. <laughs> so uh, while we do the text box mashing, what, might, uh, might we hand it over to the host for a moment? All oh, right. I didn't get the phone call. Perfect. All right, well, nice. we got 20 euros from Anonymous with no comment. And we also got 20 euros from RDV Vest the World saying we got a 20 euro donation from 20 euro donation. We've also we got 20 euro <laughs> donation from saying 20 euro euros. We got 20 euros <laughs> from RDV the World saying 20 euros from RDV. We just got 20 euros from saying RDV versus the World. It's your uh, dashboard the correctly. <laughs> by, by the way, can you give us an update on the on the bid war coming up for the for the Wanda Gamelon versus? Uh, Faces, uh, of faces of evil. No, I, wait, give me a sec. I need some, okay. I need some Sorry. quiet time for this. We're going to have to do an invincible puzzle. Invincible oh puzzle, you Yeah, mean. it's an invincible puzzle. Yeah. How will Not you, invincible, how invisible. Will you ever invincible solve puzzle. this one? Okay. Okay. Currently. Uh, Let's go! Oh. Let's go! Okay. Oh. Epic nice. gamer moment number one. Oh my we god. We are six years, 81 but now, ahead. But now coming is I'll epic just... gamer moment number two. Oh, 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 What's better? Nice! Guys, what's better? What's better? Jimbo or crossword? Jumble. Jumble. No clue. Also, let's keep the shouting to a minimum before we rip everybody headphone users, all headphone users' ears. Just just an idea here. So we went from keyboard smashing ASMR to yelling. ASMR. Okay. All right. So actually, next is another dog. Sorry. Just to give an update on that, Zelda Wand of Gamelon, six uh, years, 81 ahead. Aw. Because uh, that's closing off pretty much as this, or when this run ends, so. Got an hour. Yeah, you got about an hour, so, you know, let's, uh, let's get stick. those in. Oh, Aww. I got the long cycle. So yeah, the, the, blue, uh, the blue attacks here actually mean that he can't get damaged as long as he uh, doesn't move yep. when the blue touches him. Think so. about a stop sign being blue. We're gonna get even more difficult puzzles oh, now. Wow. Oof. Oh. Oh. Yeah, nice. correct. Okay. And we're gonna tell that we we're gonna tell Papyrus that he ate his spaghetti. <gasps> also, ever see this? Oh, look, we did a thing. We we pressed the switch, and now we have, and now we solved the puzzle. Very impressive. Very impressive. Oh, no, <laughs> There he is. Okay, this one is actually un really annoying. Yeah, this, this is massive RNG here. Yeah, so you just tell uh, Papyrus that we don't understand it. So he's gonna leave some instructions so we can read up on it. It's actually very important for later on. This is really monk -ass. Also coming up next is Ice Puzzle. This is actually a puzzle we have to do. And I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do it a casual way, to, just to show the kids at home how it works. Because I can't do the fast way. <laughs> yeah, there's a strat here that saves, like, I believe a second, but uh, it's pretty tough. It's, mm. got, it's like a pixel perfect setup. <laughs> so, when we go into the next screen, we have to hold up, down, right, because otherwise we hit the puffball. And we get stopped by a puffball with a tail. Huh. And a dog head. <laughs> it's a doggo. Aww. So cute. But it has epic iron armor. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Okay. So you Ooh, can act So you can actually pet nice. this dog a bunch. And I think that's a different category as well, where they just pet the dog over and over <laughs> and over again. It's all yellow credits. Oh, <laughs> yellow credits. That's such a good. Long category. doggo. 
Oh, but now he's entering the gauntlet. Ooh. This, this is probably a heart attack, not the game. We're gonna get killed by a dog. Yes. But then, luckily, Papyrus realizes that this is this is below him. I mean, he should he should stop us by using, you know, clever tactics, cl clever yeah, clever puzzles yes. and whatnot. So this is this is just this is not clever enough. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hello. Oh. So now we're just gonna do some cool walking uh. and we're gonna slow in. Uh. So there is a small optimization you can do. It looks like nothing, but it's really cool. We're gonna walk into an igloo. Yeah. And now we're suddenly at the other part of Snowden. Huh? So we're actually going to fight Papyrus now. Yeah, and Papyrus oh is a very interesting fight in that we're actually going to... Or not, you, you'll see. It's, you'll it's, see. It, it's a very difficult fight yeah, that, for us. Pro probably one of the hardest in the game. So, uh, like, he might die here. It's, it's not a disaster if he does, because he just gets set back a little bit. But he, there's a chance he'll die here. So I'm going to throw a stick at him, and then... Oh. Uh, my upkey just froze. Oh. <laughs> my upkey just froze. Uh, okay. No. This is how it works, right? We have to do this. Get the bones. Okay, we died. Good. Nice. So, so we got a lot. We got underestimate during quirk. So I'm gonna get the estimate back to where it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going back behind schedule now. Yeah, he lost the fight, so he's just going to have to try it again. Hopefully his up key doesn't freeze this time around. Mm -hmm. And he can actually uh, dodge the, the bones. Wow. Okay, this is epic. Let's do this. So, you saw me throw the stick. We're going to now try to spare, and for some reason we're blue. Oh, oh no. Oh. I actually don't know what's happening. Well, I, I maybe you should die again. Yeah, you should probably maybe we should maybe try maybe to fix die it, again. Yeah. yeah, maybe it should fix it. So yeah, the the idea here is we actually die a few times on purpose. Uh, it, it because it's actually faster to die here several times than it is to uh, to do the fight the normal way. I think it saves like 45 seconds. That's why we also throw the stick, because in the first phase we fight Papyrus. He gives us a long dialogue about that he's the king of the world or something. Something, something Titanic, and... Give me a sec. And when you throw the stick at him, he just says, oh. Um. So we're gonna die one more time here. Yeah, what this does is as soon as we start talking again uh, to him uh, for the fourth fight, we get a prompt asking us whether we want to fight him again or whether we just, uh, we're just, just gonna, gonna continue here. And when we fight him again, we actually lose a lot of time. I mean, he is a nice guy, you know? I'm gonna take my shoes off. You don't see it, but I took my shoes off. I'm <laughs> gonna make this comfy. White people comfy. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Now we have to say no to Papyrus. Yeah, so this is actually a very tricky prompt because it's very easy to overmash it and that just instantly loses you another minute or so. Yeah. Yay, we did it! Nice. So we get a bunch of story about Goodbye. the king and... Uh, how he's, he's collecting human souls. Guess he's walking off. He's grabbing human souls for a reason. We don't know what. Oh, by the way, keep in mind those ice blocks. You'll see them later. This is uh, Sandskill. Say hi to Sandskill. Hey, Sand. It's sand under the table. So now we're going to meet a new character in the Undertale universe. It's the Iron Knight. Or the Black Knight. And apparently he's friends with Papyrus. Or or not. How can't you be friends with Papyrus? He's a great guy. Oh, Papyrus. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. oh. He found us. What do we do? Nothing. We're just going to sit here and wait. And then we're going to meet a new character in the Undertale universe once again. Actually, one of my favorite characters, to be exact. It's a guy without arms. Are Just we, like Rayman. Are we talking Monster Kid? Monster Kid. No. Monster Kid is so good.
It's my favorite Great friend, guy. Monster Kid. There and it's Undyne's favorite fan. And he falls down a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's a little clumsy, but he's very cute. Also, also, flower puzzle. You have to do this first try, because otherwise we lose 10 seconds. This is the easiest. Oh. It's easy! <laughs> this is so easy. Also, script is fine here. Gonna flee this one. And this another one. actually flexes. <laughs> this one actually has a small optimization. To place the four flower. Nice. Monka S. <laughs> That's a bit too late. Okay. We lose 10 seconds now. Hell yeah. Could be worse. I just want I would just want elevator to first try, then we good. So fun fact. I was in the practice room before Quirk. I did a practice no. round. I was one second behind PB after I finished. My PB is a 103.43, uh, and I got a 103.44 in the practice room. So now we're going to see Undyne again. And she's not so nice, because she's going to throw spears at us. And then we are, at the, and when we're done here, we're going to see the punch card for the first time. At which point the game just pretty much breaks. Yeah, up to this point, the game's been pretty, chill. pretty, pretty chill. Yeah, there's not much, not been much to it. But this is really the point where everything just starts to fall apart. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> We did damage this. That co that comes in handy during the during the dummy fight. So now we get locked because Undyne is going to try to find us, but actually is not because one of our cute little friends is going to help us. And guess who it is? It's oh. Yeah Girl Monster Kid. Yay! Yay. Big happy. <laughs> 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 he just gets grabbed by the eye. <laughs> so, Monster Kid is going to follow us again. He's just going to tell us in excitement that Undyne touches touched her. In my opinion, she could have called the police, but... Ow. That. <laughs> so... Punch card. Crew, can you try to explain the punch card? Oh, God. Uh, I can try. I mean, I, oh. haven't, I haven't actually ever done this glitch myself because I, I stopped running before this was discovered. I'll help you. But uh, basically the, what the punch card does is it's an item that we try to open just as we try to transition into a cutscene. And um, by using it on the frame that we hit a cutscene, we can actually skip cutscenes altogether. And we can also flip out the game. It does a lot of great stuff. It's better to see it happen. Because yeah. like the game, the game has uh, how I can, I'm gonna explain this in the easy way. The game has two types of states. It has a, a cutscene state and it has a walk uh, a free state. Also, I'm gonna show it up for the first time now. Yeah, so all of these are basically pixel perfect. So there we go. So it has two states. It has a walking state and a cutscene state. And when you press the punch card on the frame, you get you transition. Oh, by the way, the text on it is great as well. Please come back. <laughs> when you use it on the frame, you get uh, from from state one to state two. Uh, it keeps the state, so that means when you normally should have gone to state two, you stay in state one. And you can also do that with screen transitions, but when you do that, uh, the game flips out and places you in the default position of the next screen. Nice. Also, it's monster kid. also, it looks really cool when you do it frame perfect because you just walk further. Also, this is the easiest of them all. You just have to count to one. One. So, one time. Thanks. Also, small optimization. Just hold up and down here and you go twice the speed. Yeah, it's similar to how he's walking into the, into the top part of the wall and uh, switching between up and down all the time. Uh, it still works there for some reason, and it considers that as double movement speed. Ooh. Also, 
We just sped up uh, him grabbing a uh, monster kid grabbing us. So this one is pretty precise. There we go. Nice. So normally you get stopped there by uh, Undyne and the spear thingies. But when you do a punch card exploit or PCE, uh, you can just walk further while the cutscene is oh, 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 oh. oh. while the cutscene is going on. Andy, be careful here. There's spears coming from the floor. You can actually manipulate those by hugging a wall. So when I hold up, they're all coming up. And when I hold down, they're all coming down. Easy as that, isn't it? So, we're trying to flee from Undyne now. So, let me count. One, two, three. Now we walk back. Because it's a dead end. And Undyne's gonna grab us. And my, can someone grab my water? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, stay hydrated. Yeah, stay hydrated. This is the perfect time to stay hydrated. Of course. Thanks, Gru. There you go. Now I'm going to... Another layer of ice tea. Try and, try and sit <laughs> down between all these plushies again. Shout-outs to the plushies. <laughs> Shout -outs to it plushies. sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get <laughs> up. Michael! Huh? That's a nice name. Michael! Michael! Michael. <laughs> Also, we're gonna try to bless this run. Oh. Aww. We're gonna do it the dummy way. Oh, I'm just gonna do a safety save here. I wanna do, to a, do safety a safety save. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Only took four nice. attempts. We're gonna bless this run. This is Jesus risk. We're walking on water now. <laughs> she is ready. Um, this is the dummy fight. Absolute banger coming up, by the way. Yeah, this is a banger. <laughs> yeah, so the dummy is very, very angry. <laughs> this fight is actually kind of difficult, and it's RNG. So we're gonna try to hit the mad dummy with his magic. And we can do that in five cycles. That's the most optimal. But six cycles isn't also that bad. <laughs> yeah, yeet. <laughs> Everybody jam along. Just look behind you when you have a chance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One more cycle. No, ec one extra. Oh Heck, one extra. <laughs> We're just jamming. Don't <laughs> take your time. Come on, die. There we go. So now he's gonna fire his dummies. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna replace Aww. all of them with mechanical dummies. At least robots uh, can't let you down. They just do what they're programmed to do. Exactly. So if if they fail you, then it's your fault. <laughs> It's a final attack, everyone. Nice. Come on. Oh. Well, he actually has one more secret attack. Believe it or not. It Don't spoil this, this, this one. It's great. It's great. It's great. And oh, he he's out of attacks. Okay. Well, you'd think that, but he no, has we one. Think he has one he special. He has one trick out of sleeve. He has a knife. He has, oh, no. Oh, Everybody no. dodge Girl. it. <laughs> <laughs> and Ow. that was his knife. <laughs> My leg. My leg. <laughs> <laughs> and that was his knife. <laughs> no, he has nothing. No, he's laughing at us. <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy, Frisk! <laughs> I'm currently tripping over by acid rain, and I'm going to die! <laughs> <laughs> and this is Napsta Blue again. Napsta hey, Blue saved Luke. us! See, he probably made that banger. Yeah, it's literally, it's a remix of the Napsta Blue team. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, Napsta Blue, hero of the story. <laughs> oh, 
So Michael killed Matt Dummy. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, it's funny. <laughs> Bye, Naps Blue. So just gonna use the punch card again to skip as much oh. as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that most of these are actually really hard to do, actually. Oh. You can also mostly set it up by going into the room and going back. <laughs> That's of course faster to do it um, ahead of time. So. Them, 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 no, them. No, oh. no, no, oh. no. We're gonna see oh. Tammy in some form in this run, so yeah. no worries. Excited. He's blessing my run from the back. There's a path here through which you can get to the oh. Tammy College. It's literally, it's literally one there of my favorite come. spots, and it it's, it's so spots. good that it has its own speedrun category. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we have Tammy to college. Here comes Tam. Tam is coming. And... Here he is! And yeah. here he was! Goodbye, Tam. Goodbye, Tam. Bye. That was there fun. <laughs> so coming up next is another encounter with uh, Yaboy Undyne. But I'm gonna try to like... I can't do the full strat, but I'm gonna try to speed it up a little bit. I'm just gonna place myself in a different spot. Hey, I'm dying. So now he's, she's gonna tell us about the Seven Souls and we about a guy named Asgore. Yeah, we really don't care. Yeah, we really don't care. And we get Ow. penetrated by Spear. <laughs> Goodbye. And she walk us over. Yeah. And someone stopped her. And we don't know who it is. No, it's probably the mystery. It's Barney, probably. It's Barney. Barney. Yeah. Barney. yeah, it's Barney. Oh, Barney stopped her. Barney. Oh, no, oh, wait. It's just Monster Barney. Kid. No worries. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell, Monster and Oh, hell. She turned into Jesus as well. <laughs> oh hell, Frisk. No. Okay, anyway. <laughs> oh, that's not how this trick works. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, I have to get the skip. There we go. Yo! Whoa. Goodbye. <laughs> no, no, skip <laughs> skips the entire cutscene with Monster Kid, pretty much. Yeah. And. I'm not gonna I'm, because this is a marathon. I'm gonna just I'm doing this safety. I'm doing this safe. Yeah, there's so we, and, and, and we there's yeah, something we call like to call a, a yeah a one dine. But it's such a difficult <laughs> trick. <laughs> this is also a really butcher banner, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gonna make another safety save. <laughs> Um. So coming in, nice. going out, getting the frame, and we nice. just skipped the full face pond dive. Go. Cool. So now the face. We well, now we're gonna fight her, but we're gonna do this in a different way because she turned our heart green, and now we only have a shield. So this is turning into a rhythm game now. Shout out to DDR and L community. <laughs> Yeah, so by using the challenge, she actually speeds up the fight because Undyne uh, will attack fat like her attacks will just go faster than they would otherwise. So one more. Now we gotta spare her because yeah, just the the arrows can't go faster, and she turned those reds, which means we can't leave. And we're gonna run. A papyrus calls us. Oh. So she doesn't catch up nice. with us. Uh. 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 <laughs> and now, can we do it? Yeah. So yeah, normally what would happen there is Undyne's armor gets all hot, and you pour water over her to cool her down, and then she'll leave you alone. Yeah, we're not but doing that. But with the punch cart, we're just skipping that. Yeah, we don't want to get... She has to stay hydrated herself. So here's another one. Uh, normally, there's this robot that... Hey, who are uh, you? Goodbye. That we would get in... There, you know, also, that we for get, some but dumb reason, we f um, Asriel gave her, tail of, uh, her phone number to us. Or Elvis, I mean. Asriel. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, who's Ezreal? We don't know. No. Um, also, we, we killed this Falcon. Oh. Our love increased, so that's Yay. good. But we gave Elvis our phone number, and no, it's the worst idea ever. I think you got doxxed. Because she's just gonna uvu us all the whole time. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. 
So this is around that what, uh, the place where we kill that one enemy, right? Yeah, that you just got to killed. We're going out of bounds because we can. Oh, sorry. We can go out of bounds in this game. But for marathon F safety, mm -hmm. for marathon oh. safety, I'm gonna overflow the burn pan. I said overflow the bur burn pan, and we got a state apron. And what is a really handy item, but I can only equip before the Asgore fight starts. That is also a good song, <laughs> creative audio. Because with the state apron on, you can't flee certain fights. So that's why, and uh, the apron gives us one health every odd turn. So with the orange lasers, the point is just that we need to not, uh, we, have, we have to keep moving. We need to not stand still there. Yeah, it's kind of the same like the attacks. Also, this skip is cool. We just whoosh ourselves through a door. If I get it. What is this, try. Hello Kitty? <laughs> first try. Nice. Oh, he goes, okay, he so goes this is going to be a hard one. Yeah, you've got basically no visual cl uh, cues here, so it's much so harder to win. the one. light nice. goes on, then I have to mash this away. Oh, 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 I still did it. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that, that was just a cooking show, that so, don't worry about yeah, it. So what happens here, the game gets confused and we lost our, uh, we lost our start menu. So we have to get our start menu back. And we do that by going back to the entrance of Hotland. And we do that three times this run, so host, if you have anything to say, do it right now. All right, good timing, because we just got a 10 euro donation from BDR saying, I forgot to donate earlier. Whoops. Great stuff all week. Hang in there. Anything more? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, well, we are the Benelux Speedrunning Gathering. We organize bi-monthly gatherings in the Benelux for speedrunners. We're currently streaming our annual event live from Hotel Astria nice. in the Venray, Netherlands. And I'll pass it back to you. Uh. So, uh, 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 also, Sounds fun great. thing yeah. you can show to your kids at home. <laughs> um, when you walk on the bottom row, you don't get any uh, messages from Alvis. That's great. Also, yeah. headphone warning right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, never mind. There is a glitch here because you can skip that extra phone call and it generates a phone call every frame. And it's annoying. We're actually kind of lucky that uh, you got it. Oh, you didn't get I have it. To go back. Nice. Almost soft locked there. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm actually gonna make another safe to save here. She's talking about her favorite anime. It's Mew Mew or something. Mew. Yeah. Uh, There's also a scripted couch we just skip. <laughs> no. Just Office don't is gonna tell us more stuff and whoosh. Okay, now I have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, nice. So now we got a ring a ding. And We're discreet. Hold on. Are we going to do this right? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, yes! Oh, We're serious! Yeah. Oh, we got this music. <laughs> the news sticks. <laughs> the news music goes away. <laughs> So yeah, we're in the new stuff. We're going into a small new section with Trico, our host. What's the weather today? The weather is raining because I am British. <laughs> <laughs> so breaking news, Frizz lost her menu, so we have to go it back. Again. So crew coming back with the economics and the music is gone. Oh, too bad. Too bad. <laughs> Look at so forward to this crew. <laughs> Wait, what? We're looking forward to your economics force cars. <laughs> okay. Fun fact, I actually have to focus here. This is ele this is left uh, left elevator three. Yeah, so there's a big inflation on these donuts. <laughs> you actually were able to buy them earlier, but uh, now they're super overpriced, <laughs> so... I actually have to focus here. And that was Grills better with <laughs> economic effect. Okay, that's one. Nice.
That's two. Nice. nice. Now we're hey, gonna look now we're gonna use the back door. <laughs> now that's the back door left in by the developer, of course. <laughs> so yeah, normally you'd get one of those donuts earlier in a pacifist run, and you can use it here on the on the Muffet fight and just m skip most of the fight. But with Punch Cart, we can just skip the thing altogether. So small optimization, hold up there, skip to get a few frames further. So this one is also pretty difficult. Okay. Just gonna buffer it. Oh, Dad, you. So yeah, <laughs> if we had to, if we if we'd read the puzzle from Papyrus before that we skipped because we uh. didn't understand the rules, uh, that's where we'd get pushed down by uh, Mesoton and we'd have to do a similar puzzle. But nowadays we don't have to do that anymore because we just skip the cutscene. We'll see soon. Oh yeah. So that was Hotel Asteria. Um, now we have to go back to get our menu. They do have a lovely um, water fan. And that's Rayman 3 we're just entering. Mm -hmm. So this is going back to a Rayman 3 speedrun. Oh. But we first have to get our menu again. Yeah, it's important to have a menu during Rayman 3. We, have we need games. to do some menu breakout. <laughs> yeah. Nandi, chat seems upset that you skipped, uh, skipped Muffet. I'm sorry, oh. I just skipped your waifu. It's also just a great song. We in all general. know Temi is the best waifu. Yeah, I think it's mostly Hi. just because they, you skipped the music. Oh, yeah, touche. Yeah. Can audio just play it anyway? <laughs> it is in the Be a Shield playlist, I think. It is in the Be a Shield playlist. Just wait for it to come by then. So, those were the guards we skipped. What guards? Yeah, what guards? <laughs> there's, there's two people standing there enjoying the time. Okay, so we're heading in the core now. This is going to be hardcore. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, what did I self? What, what did I get myself into here? <laughs> a epic Undertale speed run <laughs> by the one and only. Hey, look to bananas. So Elvis just pranked us because she told us. Um, she told us the uh, the order of the of the thingies were uh, orange, orange, blue, but they were blue, blue, orange. Boo. Not epic. So we're gonna get hit by a laser here. And because we overflowed, we can just walk through them. Also, another great music soundtrack. Oh wait, hold up, ice, ice blocks. Yeah, ice blocks. Yeah. Ice blocks. And also another puzzle. <gasps> I actually hey. love how you can follow those ice blocks all the way through. <laughs> from start to end. Ah, oh, never mind. So now we have to. Uh, now we just power down the lasers that are that should have supposed to be right here, and we can walk to Metaton. Who's Metaton? Never seen him. Uh, the uh, a robot that yeah. crew mentioned. <laughs> Never seen before. I don't know as well. So I'm gonna make another safety save here. Oh. And I skip marathon. And I have oh to count yeah. again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where's Elvis? There is Elvis. Who's that? I don't know. She. We gave her phone number it's to her. It's a stalker. Run. Run, Frisk. Yeah, <laughs> Monka ass. So she's trying to say her goodbye because we, she's scared that we are going to kill Asgore. Spoilers, yes, we're going to kill Asgore. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. And this is the oh long. Yeah. Th this is the long elevator. Nice. I mean, that was really long. That was really. You long. can still hear it going. We're still yeah. in the elevator. It's just a really big elevator as well. Yeah. The walking elevator. Yeah, it's really Monka's wonder elevator. It's still going on. This is really annoying. Oh, 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 don't rip the punch card. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible to rip the punch card. And if we do that, the run is over. That run is actually over when we do that. That I can't finish it. Oh, God, not this. Wait, section. why not? Because it's a glitch percent. 
everyone just get... I don't get, want to do it glitchless. Uh, everyone just get comfortable. It's oh, yeah. going to take a while. Also, grab your plushies, grab your pillows. Yeah, you can sleep for 10, yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah, it's going to take a while. So, host, how's that uh, that wand of Gamelon oh, wait, versus... Wait, 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 uh, wait. wait we're going to do one cool thing. Yeah. I forgot. We're going to do one cool skip, and then we can take it You can skip host. one of the story things. There we go. Okay, so how about that wand of Gamelon versus Faces of Evil bit war? Yeah, how is it going? Well, just to say first, uh, we have got uh, 15 euros from med skills, less to get that 10k hype, and I'm pretty sure that added on to that. So, uh, Zelda Wand of Gamelon is ahead by 16 euros at 105, um, but a Link Faces of Evil are at 88, 83. There's also the langu language choice Ooh. option, where we have 138, uh, 138 for Dutch, so that's ahead right now, 107 for French, and okay. 20... Please, please give us a heads up before doing that. Ooh. It's fine. <laughs> Life is okay. This is fine. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Creeper. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so now we are getting told about the human souls. <laughs> yeah, that. The human sand. <laughs> the human sand. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't, I'm don't. i not interested in the story. So we're just going to skip it away. This is going to take like three minutes. So if chat, chat spam your resident sleepers. Crowds, do some resident sleepers. <laughs> and if hosts have anything to say, you can just interrupt me. All right. Speaking of interruption, I just got informed that the, lang uh, the language choice uh, won't close at the beginning of the run. Every 15 minutes during the run, they have a chance to change over the voice, uh, the language oh, setting. No. So feel free to keep on donating for that. Oh, uh, I'll also just throw in a uh, little... Um, Missed out on any daily prizes, uh, but won the item in question. Use any uh, any of the annual exclusive discount codes to get 100% off, meaning you only pay for the shipping. Found in the link posted in chat, and I'll do that now. Beat you to it. Aww. Yo, who is bored? Uh, who I is can't bored? believe you did this, cruel. Can you spam enter for me? Can someone spam enter for me? Yes. I'm okay. bored. Okay, yo. You're Thank you. On it. Come on. Faster. It's a faster. It's a co-op run now. Literally waste. Yeah. The run invalid. The <laughs> run is invalid now. <laughs> Yo. Thank you. I'm going to take it over. The king and queen had lost two. Applause for Ravoy for spamming enter. Nice. So we're That's almost true. there. And then the hard part of the run starts because... Ascor. Asgore is actually <laughs> difficult. So we first have to do. Uh, we first have to go through the judgment. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we first have to go through the judgment, where uh, Sans uh. is going. <laughs> where Sans is going to <laughs> going to judge us on how we did. But that, we did pretty well, I think. We skipped <laughs> everything and we killed one Vulcan. So I'm gonna focus for this. Okay, we skipped it. We're pretty certain we did it well. We don't have to hear it from him. We're gonna do the wombo combo. Goodbye, sand. Uh, is that sand on the table? Goodbye, Asko, by the way. And we did the wombo combo. <laughs> nice. Okay, difficult coming up. This is actually difficult. Yep. Uh, let's just say um, this is this the game turns into a rhythm game now. Just yeah, it's turning into DDR. More of a bullet hell. So we're gonna play Max 300 on <sighs> keyboard. Yeah. So Asgore has collected six of the seven human souls he needs to break the barrier, and he wants to kill us to get our souls. So he has seven in order to free the monsters. Oh yeah, that's a barrier trapping all the monsters underground. <laughs> yeah. So the burnt pan gives us four arrows on the gr on the on the attack phase, and if we get four bars <laughs> frame perfect in the middle, um, we get a crit, and it's, it's like a four frame four frame perfect inputs. 
So I'm gonna focus on this. And there's a lot of them. Ah. So the ideal fight is nine turns. But that's difficult. Yeah, that would pretty much require him to get nine full crits in a row. This is not epic. I want more crits. That's one. Hey. Nice. Yeah, you can see that doing basically double the damage there just on account of getting that crit. So it saves a lot of time if you can get a few of them. But it's really hard. So we call only getting frame perfect uh, hits or crits a task score. <laughs> Michael! Ah, uh. oh, I was off twice. There are a few patterns that are like really easy to crit, so I hope to get those. Oh, that one was actually easy. Also, small shout out to Sanderche, one of the guys from our community. I raised him during uh, the first animal. And he beat me by only this fight. <laughs> yeah, he, he was... So good at this fight. He could, he could get. I, I think he's, he's gotten Tazgor a few times. So he got a Taz. He got like one off in his in the world record. I want to oh. get those crits. I want to beat this fight before 43 minutes, 53 minutes. Because after this is going to be a, a bullet hell game. Oh hey, it's it's real life, Michael, not oh, the in-game Michael. Michael. <laughs> Out of ruins. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, I got confused. <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> Michael does that to people. Oh, it's just Michael. Then it's okay. Oh, can I just say that this is the worst fight I've ever done? Well, at least you got one crit, so it's probably not the actual worst, but yeah, it's pretty bad. If I got a crit here, then I would have killed him. Oh my god. Wait. There we go. Nice. It was like the worst fight I've ever done. So I'm gonna do something really epic here. I'm gonna restart the game. Oh. Oh. Oof. That's like okay. There it is. I have to have to restart the game here because Secret Flowey spell. is going to crash our game. Only Flowey. Yeah, Flowey absorbs the six human souls that Asgore had, and because of Whoa. that, he grows super powerful. Perfect Aww. load. Game crash. Mike Wazowski. It is Mike Wazowski, guys. <laughs> Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski, oh, why you crashed the game? <laughs> you should have delivered your books by last week. Oh no. <laughs> also, can I make? A, can I say something funny? Yes. I'm on PB Pace. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but run invalid. But run invalid. Yeah. It was co-op. Ah, it's only an enter button. Whatever. Also, like. My pr my PV is a 103. Um, this is actually going to be really close to PV. By the way, this like minutes of cutscene. This fight is epic, by the way. Mm -hmm. So shout out to cutscene mm -hmm. and so shout out to ESA for supporting the oh. event, allowing <laughs> us to stream on their channel. Great segue. Great segue. <laughs> so what's going to happen right here is uh, Flowey took all the human souls and now he's going uh, full brute mode. And something, something, we have to kill it. And it is it, the proper turn. Yeah. Flowey got so powerful, it now has the power over our save files. So it's, it's actually controlling the game now. No worries, we've got 10. Yeah, we got 10. Don't get scared, we yeah, get 10. We're fine. 
You really are an idiot. <laughs> yes, you too, Nandi. Just know you. Know <laughs> you. <laughs> Damn, he just dies instantly. <laughs> No, I have to finish <laughs> the run! <laughs> <laughs> so... This is a really, 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 really hard fight. Wait, you can't die. Well, that's really hard. Yeah, you can't die here. Well, you know what you do, you can literally not die. Mm -hmm. You can lose time, though. That's yeah. true. But you can't die. So, this is what we call Omega Folly. And we have a tradition going on with this fight. But I will explain it in a second. When we when we when we purify the human souls. Nice one damage. So every time we get into one of these phases with a human soul we uh First okay. have to dodge these things. Well, sort of. You can't actually die here at all. We have to act and then we get healed. And there is the bandage. So we purified one soul. Now we have to do it over and over again. But like I explained earlier, uh, Flowey took over the power of our safe house. And he's actually going to use that in his advantage. Because going to save and load the game during this fight. He's gonna make the run invalid. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Also, that was my flower. That was my plant. Actually, I actually have one of those plants at home. Couldn't I didn't know they could do the things like that. Just uh, train them. Shout out to Willem. My flesh eating flower. <laughs> my <laughs> My cons flesh consumer. <laughs> so, getting pressing that act button was really handy. So now we purified another soul. Yay! And now he's gonna save and load the game. If I do it everything correctly. Just holding right down here. This is like the easiest phase in the game. Because you just have to hold one button. So the ballet shoe phase, the old, I, you can just get hit infinitely here and just spam the interact button so I can grab the act button. Yeah, even if we do, if even if we were to take enough damage that we would die, it would still always leave us at, a, uh, at exactly one HP. So we don't really have to worry about that. So you can just speed it up a little bit. Oh, there's another one. He made a villain made a friend. Oh. And that. Also, I should almost start explaining the Undertale tradition. Because we need your help, Twitch chat. We're gonna need Twitch chat for the lost base. So, three more phases left. Uh, okay, crowd, left or right? Left. 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 I hear left. It's always left. It's not always left. It's left, left, left. Yeah, so it's fair enough. No! Oh. Reset. 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 We're gonna reset the game in a sec, no worries. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to try again once? So look at all these nice words. Oh. Two more phases. Oh. I was not supposed to get hit there. Go. Oh. Again. So two more faces. Okay, so Twitch chat. When I reload the game and I start hitting Flowey, I want you guys all to spam OW. You will see why. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I cannot I cannot count. I missed one. It's twelve hits there. Omelets. So that's, this is my dinner. Very balanced. Okay, one more phase and then I have to reload the game again. So tech, don't get confused by me uh, windowing the game again. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we now we reloaded the game and we skip a little cutscene where the souls come together. La di da di da. House ban. Twitch chat, do your thing. From now on, you can just spam the heck out of what you want. Ow. 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 <laughs> Ow. <laughs> 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 Oh. I, need, I need more energy in that. <laughs> oh. it's, there we go. It's 6 p.m., not Ow. 6 a.m., so I need more energy. Ow. 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 I need a health. Ow. Okay, after 50%, I want to hear Ow. some urus. You don't, know, <laughs> you don't know what it means, but just oh, say no. it. Uh. Enough urus. Urus. <laughs> No, no Ubus. <laughs> Not yet. Still out. Ow. Ow. Ow, my voice. My leg. My leg. <laughs> oh. Say it like you're about to vomit. <laughs> Sorry, audio. <laughs> and he's dead. Oh no. No. And he's dead. <laughs> So I hope people remember BSG5, where we got half the Twitch chat global because of this reason. <laughs> <laughs> so we won, I guess. Also, this is going to be really close to PB again, like the last time. <laughs> Oh god. Invalid though, because you co opted. No, it was just a. Just cut it out. Press. Don't mention it. No. They'll never it know. I'm just gonna censor yeah. it. Well, yeah, well, just. <laughs> it's like uh, edit over a duck or something. <laughs> Coincidence. So we duck. called for help. Oh no, the webcam turned out to a specific spot. Yeah. Oh no. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. My boy. Okay, now we have to do nothing. Now we just look at the timer and think we're gonna PB. Let's. Are we? We it's might. Actually, really close. Okay. Oh, guys. <laughs> Come on, talk faster. Come on. No, we uh, got the human souls back. Hey, souls. And. They're this. going Also, hello, bitrate. I know you're going down right now. Also, epilepsy warning. Ow, ow, <laughs> epilepsy ow, warning. Ow, 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 ow. Stop it, Ron, stop. <laughs> stop it, Ron, stop. <laughs> Love you, star. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're now going to kill Blaui. And time is coming up Ooh. really soon. And... Time, PB! PB! <laughs> What a great Danny. way to end Undertale. So Nandi. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe we're gonna set up. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the CDI, the CDI run, yeah. and I think we're gonna go with Wand of Gamelon. If I'm. Uh, yeah. Wand of Gamelon. But wait, before we leave. I want to give a few shout-outs to a few people. Have like I already mentioned, it. I want to shout out once again. Thank you. Yep. Like this. Hi. Uh, Hi. Wait, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I want to give a small, well, small <laughs> shout-out to Xander once again. I want to give a shout-out to Star Smiley for being a good mod in my chat. 
and to uh, Shay for actually being good at this game and text boxing, mashing like 17 while I do 12. Also, I got almost 20,000 inputs during this run. So we're going to give it away to the CDI game. This was me for now. We're almost done at the marathon. Keep donating because we, we want to get 10K this marathon. Bye. Uh -huh. All right, it looks like Zelda Wand of Gamelon is ahead and winning for that. But don't worry, you can still change the language. But now, three minutes of ads.